Hello and welcome to Tinkertips Web. A few days ago I got two nice little LED spotlights looking like this and I just wanted to take a look inside of them, see how they are made, how the LED drivers are made and well, how they are in uh, terms of security, especially electrical security. And yes, I guess you already know what I want to say. This is a complete metal enclosure and there is no earth wire. And what is extremely strange, I got, as I said, I got two of those, one cold white and one warm white. The other one actually has an earth wire. Hmm. I wonder how it looks inside. So, I guess we should take a look. At first, I will open up the whatever color it is, okay. <laughs> the one without any earth wiring at all. Um, but well, maybe before, maybe we should take a look at the actual brightness and the wattage this is drawing, because this is supposed to be a three watt LED light. As you can see, there are three LEDs. Um, but I am not really sure if those are really 1 watt LEDs. To me this looks like some regular, well, like some of those 5mm LEDs. I am not sure what I'm expecting inside of this. So, let's crack this thing open. Oh no! As I said, I just wanted to show you how they are, what kind of light they are producing. So I get my nice quick test, which is actually well known from some other YouTubers. And I tried this one out once in the local electronics store and I was totally astonished by this thing. It is so incredibly useful and well I mean it is expensive as hell but never mind, never mind I bought it anyway. So let's connect this and get blinded. It is quite bright, but I'm not sure if this is really 3 watts. So let's connect the power meter in between. If I find the power meter, <laughs> I have no idea where I put it. Well, ouch. Ah, that hurts. Ooh. Ooh. My head at the camera. Very nice. Where is my power meter? There it is. I found it. So Connect this. And connect that. And we have 7 watts? What? <laughs> if this is really a 3 watt LED, 40 watts? 36 watts? What the heck? Uh, well, I don't really know what this is telling me. 4 watts, 7 watts, 24 watts, 28, what? Uh, let's verify this with the other lamp. Oh, 
This is somehow scaring me. As you can see, this is the warm white, which is more like a yellowish light. It is not really white. It's really, really yellowy. And it says forwards 12 watts, 9 watts. Interesting. If I wiggle it around, it seems to change sometime. Now it stays at. Uh, it's going down to forwards. I have no freaking idea what's going on. Oh well, let's take a look inside. First, uh, I'm, I'm going to unscrew this mounting bracket. Which should help us in handling this thing. By the way, those uh, lights are supposed to be mounted outside. Um, they are sold as waterproof, so we will check this also. Um, right from the beginning I can say this is not a waterproof uh, lead. This is just a, a usual PVC cable, while this one is actually a silicon, uh, silicon rubber cable. So this could be used outdoors for a long time. This one definitely not. Um, I unscrewed the two screws and I guess, yes, this is, well, <laughs> just some kind of metal bracket. Here we have a gasket and a, is this? This is actually glass, not plastic. Um, and this glass is encapsulated in a seal. Oh, it's really sharp. I don't want to touch this. And inside we have the three LEDs, which are potted. Yay! This wasn't what I was hoping for. Well, as you can see, the whole assembly is completely potted and some kind of elastic glue stuff. But, oh no, come on. Uh, you can at least move this lens around. So I try to get it out of there, which is working. Oh yes, we actually have a, this is actually a one watt LED. This is okay. So, is there any way I can get this out of there? I don't think so. I can rip it to pieces. Well, I don't intend to use these lights outside so this shouldn't be a problem at all for me and for the sake of science <laughs> I try to get it out of there because I'm really curious what is drawing that much power inside? Okay, I got this uh, black celestic out and now we can see that there is another layer of, well, 
it's not really Celestic, it's like this semi semi hard glue rubber stuff. This nasty whatever stuff. Well, maybe we can get this out somehow. I will try. Nice detail. There's actually written it that this is um, a three watt light fixture. But I guess that we have no chance getting into this set. Oh, oh, oh! I may be wrong. I may be wrong. I am wrong. Just brute force help me. And there we got it. Oh yeah. This wasn't really what I was expecting. Oh, and take a look at this uh, really nice waterproof seal down there. That's just a blob of hot snot. And our LED driver seems to be one of those generic types you find in those standard LED lamps. Um, let's try to get this nut out of it so that we can loosen up these, uh, this, this main lead and can pull this whole thing out. Okay, that worked. And let's disassemble this. That's a really small power supply. It's tiny. And it is a single chip solution. We have a, what is it? It is a BP 9021A. If I remember correctly, I already had one of those chips in a previous episode. And if it is this chip, this is a really nice switch mode power supply chip, especially designed for low power LED applications um, with an integrated switching MOSFET. Um, it is completely isolated, the mains from the secondary. Um, the creepage distance isn't that great. You can see it right here. Um, the primary uh, winding is uh, those two pins. And there isn't that much space to the secondary. But well, it should work. Oh, and it is. <laughs> It is made by, where are you? There. I hope you can see it. It is made by Dark Energy. Ooh, creepy. Oh, and the 
electrolytic capacitor is actually a 105 degree type, which is quite nice, at least if it is really a 105 degree and not just a marketing 105 degree, and it is also 400 volts. Well, nothing too spectacular in here. I expected much worse. Well, actually, I it is really, really bad uh, if you take into account that this is a complete metal can and there is no connection to the earth lead at all. I mean, there aren't <laughs> there aren't any mounting poles for a uh, earth connection so I guess they never used one and I would bet that on this lamp even though it has a earth lead that this isn't connected to anything. We could try this out. Let's take the meter. <sighs> Throw the meter, the leads, at the camera, which is always good. And let's measure it. Ground to, let's take this screw. Nope, nothing at all. This screw. Nope nothing at all and the bare metal case well this is and this is from my finger touching the probe and there is no earth connection at all so in conclusion we can say that this is a in, in my opinion just uh, from the optics this is uh, a, a quite nice lamp at least it looks nice. I, I like this industrial style. Um, the three LEDs are actually quite bright regarding that it is only three watts. Um, but in electrical safety concerns, this is just crap, rubbish. I would not recommend to buy this, especially if you are so if you are really mounting it outside um, because this little uh, little power supply is in no in no way this is going to be completely water sealed and I, I would bet that in some way there is water creeping inside the case and is in a, in a good way it is shorting out mains and uh, the, the mains lead in regards to neutral and life and if it is really bad for you or whoever touches it it just shorts may, uh, the, the life to the case and well whoever touches it it gets fried would be not so amusing I guess but <laughs> There isn't any way to mount a earth lead, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it. I actually wanted it wanted to use it inside to replace an old incandescent spotlight, which blew away half of its glass shade a few days ago. But well, I guess I will just get a new glass shade and throw this rubbish <laughs> where it belongs into the garbage. So, and this is going right after it. I hope this video was interesting for you. If you liked it, please consider subscribing and thanks for watching.